Hi, artists. This month in art and culture and music class, you guys will be celebrating Confucius week in different ways. Confucius is a very famous Chinese philosopher. He's like a teacher who had many great teachings and he taught a lot of people in China. So we're going to be learning about him. And we're also going to be doing an art project inspired by Chinese art. And we're going to be working on Chinese style scroll art. Here are some examples of Chinese scroll art. And you can see that a lot of them are made with ink. It's not really paint. It's more of a thin type of ink that they paint with. And a lot of times the pictures are of nature or landscapes. Landscapes are somewhere outside. Sometimes there's people and they're all very detailed and beautiful. In Chinese, these types of paintings are called danjing or guohua. And these traditional Chinese paintings can be landscape, that means that it's sideways. It could be square, or it could be portrait, that means that it's long like this. So there's many different styles within this style of artwork. Now these paintings are usually done on silk. Silk is a type of a cloth or rice paper. And both of those materials are very thin and you can't just hang it up like a regular piece of paper or a canvas artwork. So a lot of times they are mounted, that means it's glued or attached to a background. And this background can be rolled up and that's why it is called a scroll. A scroll is something that you can roll up and take out whenever you need to. And the scrolls have many different parts to it, but we're going to be making the painting part for this project. In this project, we're going to be learning the element of art called space. Space in art is the way you fill up your paper to create your artwork. Positive space is the parts of the artwork that is filled up. So that's where you do your actual drawing. The negative space is the parts of the artwork that are empty. So that might be the sky or the ground where it's kind of empty. There's really not much happening. So if we look at this traditional Chinese painting, which part do you think is the positive space, the space that is filled in? What part do you think is the negative space? Which parts looked empty? The positive space is the tree, the people, mountains, letters, anything that is filled up. The negative space is the sky where it's empty. There's really not a lot going on here. So there's two different types of space, the filled in positive space and the empty negative space. This week, I also have a read aloud called The Empty Pot. So if you're interested in reading this story, you can click on the link in this week's assignment and read the story. And there's really beautiful pictures in this book. So that might inspire you when you do your painting. Here are today's goals for our art project. Our big goal is to understand art worlds. That means to learn art from other artists and cultures. And this week, of course, we're learning from the great Chinese painters. So after this video, please watch the example art video. And this week, we're just drawing the positive space of your scroll. So I would like you to use black permanent marker or crayon because we're going to be painting over our drawings next week to finish. We're going to paint our negative space next week. So this week, you're just going to do the drawing part. I hope you have fun making your Chinese scroll. Have a great week.